Hi everyone and welcome back to another Vlogmas video. I am releasing a video every weekday until Christmas. This video is about how I actually plan. It's okay me coming on here and doing um, flips of my planner and all the inserts and things inside, but how do I actually use this to keep myself organised? You know, I have four children and I have to keep them organised for school and stuff as well. So let's dive into how I actually use everything in here to keep organised. The first thing that I wanted to go over was my monthly calendar. To me, this is one of the most important things. If I just had my monthly calendar and some lined notebook paper, I would be absolutely fine. I wouldn't need half of the stuff in here. Um, I could just survive off a monthly calendar and a piece of paper. So my current monthly calendar is... SM plans and I will just show you November here. So this is a place where I will write appointments in, I write birthdays, I write the kids stuff in here as well. So uh, when they have club, when they have PE because they have to wear their PE kit instead of their uniform. I write bills on here, um, appointments, days out. I will write kids parties down here. I cross stuff out if things get cancelled or something happens um, and then you can see I have circled a few dates here so I've got the 21st circled and the 16th and I was doing that because and here I was keeping track of when I wore contact lenses so that was just something else that I could keep track on my monthly to see it all at once I like having a big overview um, I would much prefer to have just my monthly rather than just a weekly calendar because I do really like to see the overview. The um, I have a different highlighter for each of my kiddos. I don't think I've still got it in here. Do I have the key? I don't think so. No. I don't have the key in here anymore, but I know the colours. Um, but I don't think I am going to do that next year. You can see that some things don't always get coloured in. So I have some ones that say P Club here and that's my eldest daughter when she has club and I just haven't um, highlighted those things. So I haven't colour coded those with the highlighter just because I think I wrote those in after I'd already wrote the other things in and highlighted so I just didn't bother. Um, it's not kind of a make or break situation for me with the highlighters. It's just something that I can do and if I need... Uh, to look at the things for my youngest daughter. She's in yellow, so I can just see all the things that is for her. But I don't generally tend to do that that much. I don't think for next year I will use a highlighter. I think I'm just going to use a pen. And we will see how that goes. So the first thing um, I do, if it's appointment-wise, event-wise, day-specific, I will write it down here. To-dos and things I don't write down on my monthly. I may have a monthly to-do list up here if it's something really important. So for December's I wrote um, my best friend here. It's her birthday so I needed to get her a gift and then my son needed a dress-up outfit and that was something that um, you know was going to take a little bit of time to do and get together. So that's why I put that on my monthly to-do list. Any other to-dos just go in my inbox. Um, for me to sort those out later and I do have a video coming all about my inbox as well so make sure you stay tuned to find that. Next up is my weekly section so this is just straight after my monthlies I do have next year's monthlies in here as well already and I'm going to show you these weeklies first just because um I think this is a little bit more clearer than what I'm using now. And I think I might actually go back to this, but we will see. So this was, I'm guessing this was um, the first week of November here. You can see I've done my colour coding again. I have a little to-do list here. And then I have a full page of, it's more routine stuff this. So I don't tend to um, write a lot of this down on my daily pages. 
it is more kind of routine stuff that I just like to keep track of a little bit. It's very satisfying to tick those off. So I will literally copy whatever it is for the week that I'm planning and just dump it onto a sheet so that I can just focus on that week um, and I don't have all the mess of every other week as well. So that is the extent of my weekly planning really. That's all I do for that. Um, it's not anything special. <laughs> if I think of a to-do that I don't want to do this week but maybe next week, I will just turn the page and write it on the next weekly or I would just put it, kind of write it on a sticky note and then stick it on the week that I thought would correspond to that. And that is it really, that is super simple. These are the weeklies that I'm using right now. So you can see it's very similar. I just have my events and things on a little sticky note. I do tend to cross off the days as they pass just so I can keep track a little bit more. And then I just have this, which is from the Ghosting Pen, and it's just like a little tracker. So here I have um, more stuff for me, like uh, wellness stuff, health stuff, that kind of thing. Then I have a little cleaning tracker here, and then I have my main to-dos for that week here. The little dots just mean that that's when I want to do that task. Um, so this was... Um, this little arrow means that it was rescheduled, it was pushed, and I actually did that on Thursday. Um, we've done that one and that one. Write card. So I did that Monday, and then I think we will do that Sunday as well. And then I am reading my buddy read still. It's taken a while, this one. So I'm just ticking those for days that I am doing that. It's not something that I have to do. It's not something that you need to do. Um, but I just like to plan out when I'm going to do um, certain tasks like that especially now near Christmas where our schedule is quite full um, and you know we're doing a lot more things with school and things um, it is nice to just kind of plan in when I'm going to do certain weekly tasks then after I have done my uh, weekly planning which I do weekly planning every Sunday I will sit down I will look at last week's, I will look at, plan out this week's, all the different tasks that I want to do and I also go through my dailies as well. So I'll link a video below of me doing my weekly review so you can see exactly what I do. But basically um, every Sunday I will look through the previous week of dailies and I'm mostly looking at my notes that I've made and if there's any to-dos that didn't get finished. So these are all finished. Um, and then these to do um, these notes, sorry, I would make note of that in the correct section. So things like my son was sick, I would write that in his health log. Just to keep track of everything like that. Um, this coffee was an order that I made. So I hadn't received that order then. It's when I placed it. So I would put it on my waiting on list so that I didn't forget that I'd ordered it. Um, and then when it comes, I just check it off that list. Also on my dailies. I keep track of food, I keep track of how much I read, this is gratitude down here and then this is some more tracking, so this is mood, energy, stress and productivity down there and I used to have a little sticky note saying that but I know what that means now, I don't need that and yeah, all the daily stuff that I do, some of this I plan out before the day, I will put in um, specific things if I know that that's what's happening so I would get those off my weekly and put them on here so this one my so my um, my husband was out I normally write when I get up during the day when I'm walking the dog that kind of thing and then here is just uh, to do that I want to do that day and then reminders up here and for me the point of the daily I could just work off this and you know I would be fine but I feel like a daily makes me more productive because I can write down everything that's going on everything that I want to do that day what I want to achieve and it doesn't have to be big huge things so on here I will put do the laundry hoover up like little things like that because to me that motivates me to check stuff off and the more I check stuff off the more I'm gonna want to keep doing things to check stuff off I'm such a big list person 
even before I was planning, I'd always write lists of what I wanted to do that day, just because I find that that's how my brain works, that's how I really like to motivate myself to do stuff. But with my um, daily pages, I can add little stickers if I want to, or washi tape, you know, and then a day on two pages, I have the additional room for notes or to track my meals. I could use a separate meal planner for this, but I just don't see the need. I don't, I very rarely look back at this, but it is nice just to keep track of things. If, for instance, I, um, yeah, I wrote all my meals down, I was tracking them, and then the next day, maybe I woke up with a headache. Maybe I didn't sleep too good. Well, was it because of something that I ate? Did I eat something that I wouldn't normally eat? That kind of thing. So in terms of planning my dailies out, I will do some things the night before, but some things I do leave until the day. So if we go to today's, this is today's so far. Um, it is uh, Friday the 15th when I am filming this. And this is today's page. You can see how blank it looks compared to other days. Some days are super busy and I will have loads of stuff written down and then other days there is a lot more white space and that doesn't bother me. I don't try and think of stuff to write down um, just for the sake of filling the space. So this is empty because I was um, at school all morning and then I've just come home and walked the dog again and had lunch. So I haven't done very much. Um, in my planner today so that is why it is a lot more um, empty than usual I don't have a lot of to do's down here because I knew that I was going to be out and I'm out this afternoon as well so I know I'm not going to be able to get a lot done because I'm not going to be here a lot today so that kind of reflects um, in my planning if we look at tomorrow um, so this is the day before and this is all I have for tomorrow. I probably won't do add much more to this. Later on tonight when I do my evening planner routine, which I will talk through that in a second, I will just add a few more to-dos I want to do. I might plan out the day, a rough sort of schedule. But that's it. I will leave everything else until the morning when I open my planner and start my day. As for my evening planner routine, what I will do is I will migrate tasks if I have to, tick things off that I've done, cross things out if they're no longer applied. And then I will fill in my gratitude. I will um, do this little tracking section down here. I usually flip to my monthly and go through and fill out these little sections here. And then I do tend to spend some time in my wellness section. So if I finish the book, I will log that in my reading log. I will track reading pages here, do all my other trackers. I will sort my health log out here. I will update my mood log. And then, like I said, if for any reason my kids have been poorly not at school if anything's going on with them I will write that in my kids section as well I also do a daily um, health log for me which I tend to fill out during the evening for my evening planner routine and it's just this health log thing so I will from peanuts Panico, I will just write the day and I'll write you know if I was extra tired that day if I had a headache if I took any medicine, that kind of thing will all go on here. And that is it. Then I will wake up in the morning and open my planner and see what we have going on that day. Sometimes I will check my monthly in the morning just to double check things. Um, but it's not always something that I do because I do have the appointments and things written on my daily pages anyway. And then I will check my weeklies for... Um, my weekly to do's what I have to do and see if I can do those on the day so that is how I plan as for other things um, keeping organized and that sort of thing I do use my inbox section like I said there is a video coming on that so stay tuned for that as for the kids stuff I've been asked about that a lot and my kids sections are pretty simple I have 
um, some I have the important school dates things like that and then they each have a little uh, divider and in here I have a health log for the year for each of my kiddos and I will write down when they miss school when they're sick if they have a headache um, if they got the flu jab, you know, just everything. Everything about their health goes on the health log. And most of them are a few years old now. Um, so my daughter's one here started in 2019. And I ha so I have the last, you know, four years um, of her health stuff written down. Then I will also have timetables here. So this is my eldest daughter's timetable. The kids are at three different schools currently, um, so, you know, things do um, are a little bit different for each of them. Then I tend to have some note paper. It might be notes on an after-school club that they're doing. It might be notes on, uh, like, the dress-up day that my son was doing. I made notes of, you know, to get ideas of what he might need, where I might get it, that kind of thing. And then after all of that, I have a I have a nosebleed tracker, first of all, for my two sons. So they just share this fold out um, from Peanuts Panico. And I mark down whenever they have nosebleeds because they have them quite a lot. I don't have this for my daughters just because they wouldn't use it. <laughs> and then I have a height and weight tracker here as well, just for all of them that all four of them share. And that is it. Then it just goes into pet stuff. And that is it. All their school stuff, um, like schedule days off, um, clubs and everything like that. It just goes on my monthly as I just find that an easy way to track that. I know some people will have like a separate monthly for that. And for me, that's just too much work. So I just stick everything all on one. And it tends to work okay for me. I don't miss that many school events or anything. So something must be working. And that's everything. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will try to answer them down below. If not, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.